people! How are you today? This tutorial is going to be a little bit different from uh, what I usually do because this is going to be an all-in-one tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this necklace and this is a, a super duo spiral. I added this uh, middle piece and this is the middle piece of the frosted feelings uh, necklace. I'm going to put a link here so that you can click on it so uh, you can also watch that uh, video of how to make uh, this whole necklace. But this is just the centerpiece of that necklace and I just made that one and I attach it uh, to this uh, spiral. So today I'm going to show you how you can attach uh, the centerpiece of that necklace onto this spiral. I'm going to show you how to make this spiral and I'm going to show you how to make a toggle clasp and this is the same toggle clasp that I used uh, that I promised to make um, that I used in the frosted feelings uh, necklace so um, I'm going to do this all at once because this toggle clasp is the same pattern as the spiral so I'm going to show you in this uh, project how to make the toggle clasp uh, I'm going to start with the toggle clasp and I'm going to show you how to make this and this is the same as the spiral but I'm going to show you how to finish this one and then I'm going to quickly show you how you can make this with two colors or four colors or just how many colors you like after that I'm going to show you how to attach this uh, centerpiece and I will put in the info box uh, on which time I make what so if you only want to make the toggle clasp you can just go uh, and make the toggle clasp and if you only want to make uh, the or uh, to learn how to attach uh, the centerpiece uh, you can only make that but the toggle clasp and uh, a, a big part of the spiral is just the same so let's start Now to start you're going to thread your needle with about one arm span of uh, your thread uh, of choice because um, you will need less but you can rather uh, use a little bit more because if you get a knot or something like that uh, you might uh, save your work if you have a little bit more thread. So this is one arm span and we're going to pick up one super duo, one uh, 11 OC bead one super duo, one seed bead, one super duo, one seed bead, one super duo, and one seed bead. And we're going to slide them down. And now we're going to make a knot. And I always make a knot three times. like this. Now you will have this little flower. Now we're going to pick up our needle and we're going through the next 11 OC bead. And then go through the top hole of the super duo. So not the bottom hole but the top hole. Like this. And now we're going to pick up one super duo and we're going through the next top hole of the next super duo and now we're going to do this all around so I'm going to pick up one super duo and I'm going through the next top hole of the next super duo and I pick up another super duo and I'm going through the next top hole of the next super duo pick up 
pick up one super duo and go through the next top hole of the next super duo. Now we're going to pull them up. So if you give it a little tug, they will stand up. And now we're going through the next bottom hole of the first super duo we added. The next top hole of the super duo that's on the bottom of that. I hope you can see that. And then pull. Now go through the top hole of the top super duo. So that's one of the super duos, your next two that we just added. And pull. And now we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to pick up one super duo, go through the next top hole of the next super duo, and pick up another super duo, and go through the next top hole of the next super duo. And pick up another super duo, go through the next top hole of the next super duo, and once again pick up one super duo and go through the next top hole of the super duo. And now we're ready to go through all of them. So what I always do is I go through the next top hole of the next super duo, through the bottom hole of the next super duo and the top hole of the super duo that's next to that. So I'm going through three super duos. And pull. And when you do it like that, you're ready to go up through the next super duo and then that's the top hole. And pull. And now we're ready to next for the next round. So I'm going to show you one round again. Pick up one super duo, go through the next top hole of the next super duo. Pick up one super duo and go through the next hole of the next super duo. Pick up one super duo and go through the next top hole of the next super duo. And again, pick up one super duo and go through the next top hole of the next super duo, the bottom hole of the next super duo, and the top hole of the next super duo. And pull. Now, as you can see, we're going to turn it around and we're going to need five rows. So we added three rows now. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So now we're going to add two more rows and then I'm going to show you how we close it. So I've added my fifth row now and I'm ready to close it. If you want a spiral that just has one color, you can just continue doing this until you have enough length for your spiral. Your spiral will need about 60 grams to make about 50 centimeters. So if you want to make a long necklace, you will need more. So please uh, keep in mind that if you want to make a spyro, you will need about 60 grams. So that can be 30 grams of each or 50 grams of each uh, color. Uh, it just depends on um, how many uh, layers you want. But for just one, you will need 60 grams of one color. Now we're going to close this because this is the part of the toggle clasp. The, the first part, so this part. We're going through, I'm coming, I'm coming out of the, uh, the last part, so I went through the top hole of this super duo, the bottom hole of this super duo, and the top hole of this super duo. And like we did before, I'm going to step up through the next super duo, so that's the top hole of the next super duo, and I'm going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead, and I'm going through, sorry, I'm going through the next top hole of the next seed bead. Again, I'm picking up one seed bead and I'm going through the next top hole of the next seed bead. And again, pick up one seed bead and go through the next top hole of the next seed bead. And I'm going to do that one more time again. And now I'm going to reinforce this, so I'm going through all the beads, so that's all the beads I just added and the super duo top holes. 
So just going around and pull a little like this. And now we're going to make sure that we're coming out of the top, oh sorry, the, um, yes, the top hole of a super duo. So not through the seat bead, but before you go through the next seat bead. And now we're going to flip our work over and we're going with our needle through the bottom hole of that same seat bead the opposite way. So I'm coming out of this side and I'm going in the other side of the super duo in the same way. Like this. Now this is the important step also with the spiral. We're going to twist and turn. So you need to pay attention of where you need to uh, put your seat beads. This seat bead will follow this row and I'm going to show you that on the piece I've already made. You can see that is this seat bead and this goes in a spiral. So we need to look closely where we need to put the seat bead. This row follows against this super duo. So we need to go through the next top hole of the next super duo that's in line with the one we're coming out of. Like this. And pull. And once you get it, it's very easy. But the first time you really need to see what you're doing. Pick up one 11 o And then we're going through the bottom hole of the next super duo and the top hole of the next super duo that's next to that, so that's in line with the next super duo. Like this, and pull. Now you can see that the seed bead we just added is in line with the other seed bead. Now we're going to turn it, and we're going to pick up another seed bead, and we, we are already in line with that seed bead, so I'm going through the bottom hole of the next super duo, and the top hole of the super duo that's in line next to that. And pull. Like this. And then we're going to turn it. And again, pick up one seat bead, go through the next bottom hole of the next super duo, and through the top hole of the super duo next to that. And pull. And one more time again. Pick up one 11 0 seat bead, go through the next bottom hole of the next super duo, and the next top hole of the next super duo that's in line with that. And pull. Now we added one part of the row. Now we're going to turn our work over, because now we're going to work the other way. We're going through the seat bead, or sorry, the super duo through the bottom hole on the same side that we're coming out of, like this. And pull. Now you can see these super duos follow this line. So this is a line and this is the next line. So we're going to need to put a seat bead in between that. So pick up one seat bead and we're going through the next super duo and the next bottom of the next super duo that's in line with that. Just like we did before, only the other way around. Like this, and pull. Now you can see the seat beads follow that line. So we're going to turn it, and again we're going to pick up one seat bead, and we're going through the next top hole of the next super duo and the next bottom hole of the next super duo and pull and we're going to twist it pick up one 11 0 seat bead go through the next bottom hole or sorry the next top hole of the next super duo and the next bottom hole of the super duo in line with that and pull and now we're going to add our last seat bead of this row, pick up one seat bead and go through the next top hole of the next super duo and go through the next bottom hole 
of the super duo that's in line with that and pull now we're going to cross over so by crossing over we make it to the other side so i'm going through the 11 o because we don't want to make the turn this way because you will see the thread so we're going through the seed bead and through the next top hole of the next super duo and only that one not the next one only that one and pull oh. like this and now we're going to turn our work around now we're ready to, to add the next row we're going through the bottom super duo and through the top hole of the next super duo and pull now you can already start to see the pattern because the super duos will also uh, wave their pattern by going uh, back and forth uh, through them so we're going to pick up one 11 o through the next bottom hole of the next super duo and the top hole of the next super duo because the next seat beats needs to be in line with the previous one so I hope this is understandable because it's very easy only you need to get uh, the pattern and if you get the pattern it's just as easy as pie go through the next bottom hole of the next super duo and the next top hole of the next super duo and pull and twist pick up one 11 o go through the next bottom hole of the next super duo and the next top hole of the next super duo and pull and twist pick up one seed bead and go through the next bottom hole of the next super duo and the next top hole of the next super duo and pull now we're going to twist a work around and we're going through the next bottom hole of the next super duo because we don't need to go through, uh, through two here because you can see on the seat bead that this is the next super duo in line this one lays against this one so the next one needs to be here pick up one 11 o go through the next top hole of the next super duo and through the bottom hole of the next super duo and pull and again pick up one 11 o go through the next top hole of the next super duo and through the bottom hole of the next super duo and we're going to do this all around and now we're again where we started so we're going through the next 11 o and through the next top hole of the next super duo and we're going to twist the work around and now we're going through the same side because we want to get to this side the same side as we uh, come out of on the, on the other side so on the other side of the super duo now this part can be a little confusing but you need to uh, look very close because these are a little bit more straight so this is the next super duo in line this this uh, probably you only have or it's not a problem but you need to look very close at, to this point only at uh, the end so this super duo um, lays against this seed bead so the next super duo uh, need to lay against the next seed bead so we need to put the seed bead here so we're going through the top hole of the next super duo and we're going to pick up a seed bead and go through the next bottom hole of the next super duo and the next top hole and now we're just going to continue making a round like this and mostly I turn it around because for this last row I um, like to work on this uh, side because I can hold it this way so I'm working my um, opposite way but for the last part I don't uh, really bother that like this just add the seed beads 
and we're already on our beginning point. I'm going through the first seed bead we added in the next super duo and the next super duo next to that and then I'm going to go through the opposite way so that's the beginning point of the super duo and the next seed bead and now I'm just going to go through the uh, seed beads and the super duos and I'm going to make a knot and that uh, you make a knot by going with your needle through the uh, or sorry underneath the seed bead and pull don't pull it all the way and make uh, your knot in the loop then pull it uh, towards you and then you will slide the sorry you will slide the uh, knot in I'm going to show you that one more time again you're going underneath the thread you're going to pull your needle but not all the way because you want this loop to stay you're going to put your needle through that loop you're going to tuck it a little or sorry pull it a little then grab it on the side you want because uh, you can have if you pull it right away that your loop spins around the other way give it a little tuck and then slowly pull your thread in that way you will never have that your thread is uh, going around your seed bead and then I'm going through the next seed bead and the next super duo like this and pull and now you only have to cut off your thread and there you have the first piece of your toggle clasp like this and that's it now for this piece and I think you can already imagine how we make this we need a new piece of thread so go ahead and thread your needle with about one arm span of your thread of choice now we're going to pick up 20 super duos and we're going to do that like this one super duo one seed bead one super duo one seed bead and continue doing this until you have 20 super duos now I have my 20 super duos on and I calculated it uh, again but I need 22 so sorry for that you need 22 super duo so you have 20 so we're going to add two more sorry for that I thought I had 20 uh, on it and slide them down and now we started with one super duo so we need one more seed bead at the end so you need 22 I'm sorry I uh, didn't hit this right now we're going to slide them down and we're going to make a knot be careful when you make a knot that you don't have any seed beads or um, super duos um, heading to the other way sorry if I don't uh, explain it well but sometimes you have it if you want to make a knot that um, you pull too hard or too soft and your seed beads or uh, other beads will go the other way and then you will have um, not enough seed beads or other beads so I always make three now so that were two and this is three like this and now pick up your needle and go through this round again so you're going through the next seed bead and just go through all the bottom uh, holes of the super duos and the first one can be a little uh, more difficult because it's next to the knot like this and just make this round again so that you really reinforce uh, this round 
because in that way uh, your toggle clasp will hold longer. So just reinforce this until you are at the beginning point again. Okay, I reinforced my first row and I'm coming out of the super duo, so I'm going through the next seat beat. Like this, and pull. And another tip, if you have um, that your thread starting to curl up, you just pick up your needle and you're just sliding your fingers over your thread and let your work twist out. Because in that way uh, your thread stays straight too. Now, we're going through the top hole of the next super duo and we're just going through all the top holes of the next super duos. So just all the top holes. And through the one we started with and now you're going to pull. And when you pull, also push the super duos inside. Like this. Give it a gentle tug until they are lined up straight. Oh, sorry. Like this. And now we're going through all the holes again. And with each time we go through a few holes, we're going to uh, pull our thread. Because in that way we secure it with every uh, bit we do. And don't pull it too hard because you don't want to break your thread. You just want to reinforce it. And it's very easy to see where you, uh, where you end. Because here the thread is double and here the thre thread is uh, just one thread. So it should be very easy to spot where you uh, can stop. But you can also do it uh, three times, just uh, depending on what you like. Like this. Okay. Now I think this is sturdy enough, but if you want it more sturdy, because I can barely uh, move it. If you want it more sturdy, you can uh, go through it again. Now. You can see a little bit of thread uh, in this round, but it doesn't really matter because this toggle clasp end is going to lay on top of it like this and there's going to be something attached to it on the other way. So it, you won't really notice it. I tried and tried and tried to uh, make it a different way. So I added seed beads in the middle and other seed beads around and I tried and tried, but uh, this was really the most um, simple and uh, uh, best looking way uh, to do this. Of course there are other parts uh, you can make uh, for this, uh, just what you like. You can also uh, uh, fix your own uh, uh, piece of this toggle clasp. But I, I like this because it doesn't really uh, show, and especially if you use fire line or something, uh, nobody's going to notice. What you can try, I didn't try it myself, but I think it might work. You can also try to put 8 OC beads in between and then 15 OC beads in the middle. But I don't know if um, how that will work and if it will work, but you can always try it. Uh, but that's the only thing I can uh, come up with, but I didn't have uh, 8 OC beads or 15 OC beads in this color. So I couldn't uh, really uh, try and show you. But you can always try that, but this will fit the toggle clasp and it will fit it snug so it won't uh, fit it uh, too loosely and uh, you can make uh, the other part uh, on the other side. Now how can you um, how can you attach these pieces? Well when you make a necklace you will always have an end of something and the only thing you need to do is in any way you like attach a few seed beads on it. You can do that with the right angle weave you can do that with uh, just uh, a basic other stitch, it doesn't really matter. And then just for the clasp, for the, for the big part of the clasp, uh, 
you will need to find the middle seed bead and that's very easy because there are seven seed beads so you just will uh, have to find uh, one two three and then the fourth seed bead and then uh, just attach it to this one you can also make a construction uh, on your own just to attach it to this um, like uh, picking up a few seed beads I'm going to show you as an example picking up a few seed beads and then go through the middle seed bead pick up three seed beads again and reinforce that, uh, reinforce that really well and uh, go through the part you just added it, it isn't really um, that hard and you can also go through uh, one of the super duos if you want super duo in the middle I suggest that you make uh, not a row of five but a row of six uh, for the middle it just uh, just depends on what you like so there's all, all kinds of ways uh, to attach this Now for the second or actually the third part of this uh, tutorial because this part of the tutorial is also uh, the same part if you want to make a spiral uh, in one color So we're going to make the spiral with two colors So we're going to pick up one seed bead one uh, color one super duo um, one seed bead and then a color two super duo one seed bead and a color one super duo one seed bead and a color two super duo so i'm using uh, white and silver here so that's a nice contrast i think uh, to show on the video how you make this just tie a knot three times making a mess of my thread here sorry <laughs> No, come on. Sometimes that uh, thread doesn't want to work with me. This two and three. Like this. Now you can see we have two white and two silver. We're going to pick up our needle and I'm on the side of my super duo already. So I'm going through the top hole of the white seed bead. Oh sorry, the white super duo. Now, it doesn't matter um, on which one you start, but it does um, it does make uh, how your spiral is going to go. I'm going to uh, it's going to go right or left. So I'm going to start with white out of the top hole of the super duo and then going through the top hole of the next super duo now I'm coming out of the silver super duo so I'm going to pick up a silver super duo and I'm going in the next white super duo now I'm coming off out of a white super duo and I'm going through so I'm going to pick up sorry so I'm coming out of a white super duo so I'm going to pick up a white super duo and I'm going through the next top hole of a silver super duo and now I'm coming out of a silver super duo so I'm going to pick up a silver super duo so just like we did on the previous uh, part of this um, of this tutorial I'm going through the top hole of the next super duo the bottom hole of the next super duo and if you can the next top hole of the next super duo and I can't so I to do it now like this and pull now actually that is all there is to it so it's just the same as you would make it with one color only you have to look which one you will have to uh, pick up so I'm going through the top hole of the next super duo and I'm coming out of a silver super duo so I'm going to pick up a silver super duo and I'm going through the top hole of the next super duo and I'm going to pick up a white super duo because I'm coming out of a white super duo and I'm going through the next super duo and again 
I'm going to pick up a silver super duo because I'm coming out of a silver super duo. And I'm going through the next hole. Like this. And now I'm coming out of a white super duo. So I'm going to pick up a white super duo. And I'm going through the next top hole of the next super duo. The next bottom hole of the next super duo. And the next top hole of the next super duo. Just like we did with the one, uh, one color. So as you can see, now the pattern starts to form. So that is all there is to it. That's the, the only difference uh, with the normal spiral. So the spiral with one color. And then just uh, if you go back, you can just add the seed beads uh, around it. I uh, always uh, like to use one color of seed beads, uh, just depending on what you like. This works the same for four rows. If you want four different colors, you just need to start with four different colors and then just the same when you come out of the top hole of the super duo um, pick up the same color that you're coming out of and go through the next one and that's all there is to it so you can uh, add, make this endlessly I'm going to uh, add a few uh, more pieces and then I'm going to show you how you can set in a new thread on this spiral Okay, I'm going to show you how you can set in a new thread. Uh, I'm going to sh first show you how you can set in a new thread. You can do this in two ways. It doesn't matter it, at uh, which part you are. I'm going to show you at this toggle clasp. Um, the first thing you can do is come um, under the thread next to a seed bead. And let's say you will, uh, it's a little bit longer and you will need to start here. So. You will come out of um, or come under a seed bead that's about, let's say, two, two and a half centimeters away from the point that you need to start over again. And pull it through. Not all the way because we need to uh, make a knot. And you can leave a longer tail. So not a very short tail, a longer tail. Because we're going to tuck in uh, that later. And just tie a knot. And then the only thing you need to do is um, I, I came out of this side of the seed bead and I'm going through the seed bead the opposite way, like this. And then you're just, oh sorry, and then you're just going to pull and just follow the pattern. So I'm going through the next super duo like this and I hope this is easy to follow. So you just start uh, F, uh, at the back side of a seed bead and I'm going through the next uh, through the seed bead and the next super duo and now I'm going to follow this pattern of the super duos. So I'm just going through the holes of the super duos like this. And I'm just going through the bottom hole like this. And now I'm at the top and this, this could be the top where I need to start a new row. And then I'm just going through the super duo. And this time also the seat beat, but I don't know if you have a seat beat on top. And then just go on. That's uh, option one. So just uh, starting, I'm going to show you uh, with the necklace. If you, uh, I set in a new thread a few times, and you can't really see that because uh, I use this uh, method to uh, do that. And so let's say you end here, you will set in your thread here. And then just go up through the uh, through the super duos, and then just uh, continue what you were doing. The second method is um, attaching one thread to the to another thread, and I'm going to cut this off. So let's say your uh, this is the top of your spiral, 
and you have just a little piece left because I don't know how about uh, you but sometimes I beat in front of uh, the television or a nice YouTube video and I don't really pay attention and uh, uh, then uh, suddenly I don't have a lot of thread left. So what you can do then? You're going to need about two arm spans of thread and you're going to just tie a knot. And you can do this also in two ways. You just uh, tie a really small knot because it's big enough to go through the beads and through the super duos. Or you can tie it um, next to uh, the bead you're coming out of. So. I'm going to show that in two ways. So the first one is I'm just going to tie a knot one time and then a second time, but I'm not going to pull it like this. And then I'm going the the thread that's the new thread. I'm going to uh, place it as close as I can through the uh, next to the part I want to knot. And then, oh, my knot is coming undone, sorry. So I made a knot, um, a loose knot and another knot around the thread that I'm uh, ending with. So the thread that I'm all, uh, working on in the, at this moment. And I'm going to pull the first knot, place my finger on it and make the second knot. So that's the second knot that's very close to my work. And in that way it should be secure enough that if you use your new thread you can just uh, continue going. You can make a few more knots with the threads if you like it because sometimes if you make a double knot uh, you can make it uh, two times the same way and in that way uh, it can be uh, uh, slippery. So like that, so that's uh, option uh, one and I'm going to cut this off. So I'm going to show you option two. And option two what you can do because you will need to, uh, to set in a new thread because I think you need about let's say 12 arm spans of thread. Now that, that's, that's not something you like to work with in one time. So option two, and that works uh, just fine too, just what you like. Uh, if you like to work the thread, or sorry, the knot uh, in right away, or just uh, later, it doesn't really uh, matter. I think both uh, ways work fine. You take the thread that's ending um, from your work and your new, new thread, and you're going to make one knot. And then you're going to make a surgeon's knot. We're going to place one thread behind the other, and we're going like we would make a regular knot uh, underneath it, but we're going to do this for three times now. And you can also do this more times. So you can see the thread is uh, spinning around each other more. And pull, like this. And this should be secure. This should be secure. So now leave it like this. Don't cut off any thread because um, you will not um, you will you will not be glad if it breaks or something. If it breaks, uh, you uh, don't want your work to come undone. So leave it like this. Just work it uh, until you're having it in your work, and uh, that's the same with the other knot. If you've done the whole spiral, work the threads away through your beadwork nobody and then uh, cut off the uh, remaining piece of thread nobody will notice now i'm going to show slash tell you how to make uh, this attachment now this is very easy i'm going to zoom in a little so that you can maybe see better this is very easy I'm going to show you this because I don't want to uh, ruin this one and I don't want to make another one because I don't have a project to uh, make it with so uh, it would be a, a, a waste of beats or a, nothing is a waste but you know what I mean. Okay and this is very easy everyone can do this if you can make this you can certainly make this it's very easy. What you're going to do you're going to thread two needles with about one arm span or less 
just on what you have. You have little scrap pieces, it's okay. Um, one arm span or fire line. You're going to take one of the needles and you're going to stick it into, so this is the pedal, yeah, like this, this is the pedal. You're going to stick it into the bottom holes of these two super duos. Like this, so it's just through this way. Then you have two needles. And I'll pick up my other needle for this. Then you have two needles. Then with the right needle, go to the, through the top hole of the, the super duo and through the next bottom hole of the next super duo. So that's the top super duo, like this. And then do the same with the other one. And then we'll end with our threads on two sides on the bottom hole of the bottom, so the top super duo, so that's this super duo. Then we're going to go with our right thread to the left and with our red left thread to the right, like this. And then they will be sticking out like this. And then it's just very easy. You're going to pick up one seed bead on each needle. So that's one 11 0 seed bead on each needle. And then you're going to pick up one super duo, crisscross in it on the bottom hole, or so that this doesn't matter. So the, the first hole you uh, choose uh, of the super duo. And then go through the top hole of the super duo. Pick up one 11 0 on each needle, pick up another super duo, crisscross in the bottom hole, and then go through the top hole. Again, pick up one 11 0 on each needle, and go through the bottom hole again, go through the top hole again, and repeat this until it's, uh, it's big enough to fit your. Um, your spiral. So I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 super duos and then it fits my spiral like this. So I've got a little bit of room but it's not uh, too stiff. So really if you can make this you can do this. Well if you ended that you will turn it around and we end with this super duo and we end with one thread sticking out of each way and then we're just going through the top hole of the next super duo so that's the super duo that's on top so the the top part of the flower like this and then we're going through the the super duos the same way we did so we're going through the bottom hole of that same uh, super duo and then through the top holes of the two next super duos and then we're going through the bottom hole of the next super duos and then I work my way until I can end on the middle of this uh, component. So what I say if you can make this, you can also make this and I will put a link uh, in the beginning of this video to this video to make this. So I hope you liked this tutorial, I hope everything was clear. If you have any questions you can just ask me. Uh, this is very easy to make and um, it's really uh, that kind of work that you can do in front of the TV and something. So it's really uh, really very easy. Uh, please show me if you made this, uh, uh, what you made uh, of it uh, and, uh, with, and uh, with the colors you made it. Uh, I really like to, uh, to see that. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you the next time. Bye!